guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're here for the first time my name is on and if you have been here already welcome back in today's video i'm gonna play with a palette which i used in a few videos back i really enjoy playing with it so i wanted to do another video but the first thing i'm gonna do is first applying some eyeshadow primer i'm using the mac cosmetics soft ochre paint pot and i'm applying it with a p84 brush by sigma beauty so i'm just applying this all over the eyelid and this will make sure that my eyeshadow will stay in place really nicely and that's of course what we want we don't want our eyeshadow to crease so now i'm taking this palette by jolie beauty i will put the name of the palette in the description bar and i'm starting with this light color and i'm just gonna blend this all over in the crease going back and forth and the brush that i'm using right now is a sigma beauty e40 brush which is a really nice blending brush for like your transition color it's just a really nice brush and I have really cool news. This week I have a masterclass in the Netherlands. This is my very first masterclass ever and it's in collaboration with Benefit Cosmetics. I'm so excited. Um, I have wanted to do like masterclasses for a while and it never really came of it. So I feel really happy and honored that Benefit wants to do this with me because I don't know, I think it's such a cool brand and I use their brow products really often. So. Um, I, I just think it's really cool and I just feel a little bit honored that they want to do a masterclass with me. So I'm really excited for that. I'm going to try to vlog a little bit. Uh, maybe I can show you guys in one of my upcoming videos some sneak peeks of what went with yeah, how it went or something. Let me know if you'd like to see. Of course, if you're following me on Instagram, I will be also posting a lot in my Instagram story. And yeah, I just hope in the future that maybe I can do master classes all around the world like the master class i'm gonna do with benefit is all about the brow so i'm not really gonna show like how i do eyeshadow and i think that's what most people are actually interested in so i hope that in the future i can do master classes all around the world showing my eyeshadow techniques that would be really cool so i'm talking too much i have to explain you guys what i'm doing <laughs> so i went in with a darker color and now i'm going in with an even darker color i think you guys have seen me doing this so often so sometimes i feel like i'm kind of repeating myself but of course there are also new people watching my videos so i also don't want to skip like explaining what i'm doing so hopefully you guys don't mind but i'm just gonna build up the colors in my crease to kind of darken it up and i'm just gonna blend my brush back and forth um, I always start with a light color and then I build it up by going darker and darker. I feel like this way you get like the nicest transition. Um, I feel like people always tell me like you're the blending queen, which is such a compliment. But I feel like what makes my blending look so good is that I start with a light color and then I go darker and darker. And this way you just get a really soft transition. Instead, if, if you go with like a really dark color and then you're gonna blend a light color around the edges i just feel like it's not the same so now i went in with an even darker color and i'm gonna focus a little bit more at the outer v of my crease you can see that i'm creating like more circular motions with my brush because i really want to have like that round shaped eye look so yeah that's why i'm doing like a little bit different right now i'm not really focusing in the crease but more like at the outer end of my eyelids so now i'm taking this matte and metal from huda beauty and i'm gonna apply it all over the eyelids this is such an incredibly beautiful color i'll put the name in the description bar um i have done a few more videos using these matte and metals from huda beauty and i just think they're really beautiful they kind of remind me of the stila cosmetics uh, glitter and metals i'm not really sure what the name is but i've used them before as well i think it's kind of the same but a little bit less glittery but i just really love how it's how easy it is to apply these liquid eyeshadows and they just give you amazing metallic finish which i think is so beautiful i do got a little like a few messages from people saying that they didn't like the huda beauty metal metals they told me they crack on the eyelids um i haven't experienced this but maybe this happens when you apply too much product so you don't want to apply a layer which is too thick because that way it can crack really easily so make sure you don't do that just to prevent that so now i'm going in with the roller liner from benefit cosmetics which is my current favorite liquid liner i still really love the gel eyeliner from maybelline but this is like a total different eyeliner like i have a few eyeliners which i really like i love the maybelline gel eyeliner i love this one for creating a winged liner 
I use it almost every day when I go somewhere and I want to do my eyeliner. It's just so easy to use, so quick. With a gel eyeliner, you need a gel eyeliner and a different brush. And this is just like one product, like one liner and a brush in one. I, I just think it's a little bit more easier. I grab it way more quicker than if I would do my eyeliner. I have to get a separate brush to apply the eyeliner. I just feel like this is like my lazy eyeliner, if I could say so. If you know what I mean. I, I think the finish of a gel eyeliner is so beautiful. I think if I had to choose like to use one eyeliner for the rest of my life, I think I would maybe say gel eyeliner. But I think this one by Benefit is super black, really easy to use. Um, so this one is like my personal favorite at the moment for if I just want to do like a liner. Simple, quick. <laughs> I hope you guys know what I mean. It's just a good eyeliner. So I'm creating a tiny wing today. Um, you can skip this part if you're not really into eyeliner. I am currently really into wing liner. I just noticed that it just suits my eyes. So I'm doing this way more often lately. But if you have hooded eyes or you're simply not in eyeliner, if you don't know how to do it, you can skip this part because I feel like it's not really necessary. I think the eyeshadows on its own are already really pretty and I created that round shaped eye look. So I feel like you don't really have to do this, just so you know. You can go for some mascara or go for fake eyelashes and it will look amazing. So I'm gonna kind of carve out that eyeliner because you could still see like some of that eyeshadow underneath the eyeliner and I don't really like how that looks. So I'm gonna clean it up using some concealer. The one that I used is by Tarte Cosmetics. It's the Shape Tape Concealer. It's one of my favorite concealers. I really love that one and I used a concealer brush from Colourpop. It's a really nice one. And I'm just going like right underneath the line and I'm kind of connecting it with the tail of my brow and then pressing it in with my finger to kind of blend it into my foundation. Then when I'm done with that, I'm going in with this shade, which is a shade which I also use for in the crease. Um, I'm gonna use a flat definer brush from Sigma Beauty, which is one of my favorite brushes for kind of pressing this right underneath the lower lash line. Also, you can see that I have now foundation on. I used some powder underneath my cheekbones to bake. Um, I did my foundation really quickly off camera, but my skin is looking a lot better right now. So I wanted to just mention that I did this off camera. So I'm now pressing this underneath the lower lash line, kind of blending my brush back and forth, but also really packing on the color by pressing it against the skin. And then from my waterline, I went in with this palette, palette, I mean pencil, from Morphe Brushes, which is called Vibes. Such a beautiful color. It's like, like a reddish orangey brown. It's really beautiful. It has a lot of warmth in it. And if you have an eye color like I do, if you have blue eyes, green eyes, maybe even if you have brown eyes, I think it's so freaking beautiful. It makes my eye color stand out really. So I think it's really beautiful. So then now to blend out the lower lash line, I took that light color and I'm just gonna blend my brush back and forth underneath the lower lash line, really trying to smudge it out. And the brush that I used was a pencil brush. And of course, everything I do, I do at the other side as well. And yeah, I think the eye look is almost finished already. The only thing we need right now is a little bit of mascara, um, a little bit of lashes. I always wear lashes. And I also wanted to go in with some highlighter in the inner corner. I'm using this eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, which is really beautiful. If you have never tried their foiled pigments, they're really good. I never really see people using it, but it's actually really good and I love it. I think I've used them a few times on my channel. And also my voice is acting up, which is so annoying. I told you guys I had a masterclass next week. So hopefully I'm not getting sick. I'm so freaking tired all day and I kind of have a feeling that I'm getting sick, but I don't want it to happen. So pray for me. I really hope it's not going to happen. So now I went in with some mascara. I'm using the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. It's a really nice one. Um, if you're more into mascaras, which make your lashes longer instead of thick, I am sure you guys will love this one. It's really nice. And of course, like always, I'm also going in with some uh, fake eyelashes. And I got these really beautiful ones that I'm using today from Folor Lashes. I will put the name also in the description bar. They're really beautiful. 
really wispy. I absolutely love them. And I'm gonna apply them also with their lash glue. And here you can see how beautiful they are. Let me know in the comments if there's any lash style which is your favorite. I'm always searching for like new styles which are really nice. So if you have any specific style which you absolutely like, let me know in the comments so maybe I can try them out. And yeah, this is also almost the end of the video. I really hope you guys all enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. This will be really helpful for my YouTube channel. And yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys!